Welcome to Fayetteville Technical Community College, and we are happy to have you as a fellow Trojan. FTCC has many resources, and we are here to help guide you through the maze of college life. It is our hope that you will find this information useful during your time here at FTCC. We are going to talk about a few things you need to know as a new student. We want you to be prepared to succeed, so let's discuss some essential information that every student at FTCC needs at their fingertips. College terminology. College terminology can get confusing, but do not worry. Faculty and staff can always assist you. Let's focus on some of these terms that are in bold. Registration and enrollment. You may think these things are the same, but please keep in mind that registration is when you pick your individual classes. When you register, you are choosing the days, times, and kind of classes you are going to take, and you are taking a seat in those classes. Enrollment is a broader term that can mean you have done an application, sent us your transcripts, and chosen your degree. Think of it like this. You choose the restaurant you want to go to, make reservations, and sit down at the table. That's enrollment. When the waiter comes to take your order and you tell him what you want, that is registration. Full-time, part-time enrollment. Full-time is at least 12 credit hours. Anything below 12 is considered part-time. 12 credit hours is usually around four classes. You may have heard that you need to be full-time to get financial aid. That is not necessarily true. You can get financial aid for three-quarters time or even half-time. It is best to check with financial aid and VA so you can make choices that are in your best interest. Plagiarism. Plagiarism is using another person's ideas and or writing without acknowledging that they are doing so. FTCC considers plagiarism to be a serious offense. A student found guilty of plagiarism may be given a failing grade in the course and additionally may be placed on probation or suspension or even expelled from the school. Census date. Each class has a census date, a certain point where a student cannot drop him or herself without being charged for the course. Census dates are not always the same date. Please check your class syllabus or the registrar's webpage for important dates. Knowing the census date will save you money. We will talk about more of this later on. Choosing your program of study. As a brand new student, you get to choose your program of study. Let's talk about the different types of degrees, diplomas, and certificates FTCC offers. Associate of Arts and Science degrees provide the first two years of instruction in major fields that prepare students for transfer to college and universities to complete a bachelor degree. Associate of Applied Science degrees provide two years of instruction to develop knowledge and skills leading to employment or career advancement in specialized fields. In general, these degrees are not intended as transfer programs. Check with your program advisor if you plan to transfer to a four-year college or university. Diplomas and certificates are shorter term specific programs. These programs range from 16 weeks to one year. Some of our diplomas and certificates fall under the umbrella of a parent degree. That means that while you are earning your degree, you can achieve a certificate before you graduate. You may be able to use that certificate to get a job while you continue on your degree. You should always talk with your program advisor each semester to make sure you are on track to graduate with the right degree for your goals. They can help make sure you get the classes you need and keep you pointed in the right direction. Here at FTCC, we have 280 plus associate degrees, diplomas, and certificates in many different areas such as arts and humanities, business, computer information technology, engineering and applied technology, health, public service, and math and science. All health programs require a competitive admissions process except mammography and nurse aid programs. Students must complete all prerequisites and gain competitive points in order to apply for program approval. It is hard work and you will have to see things you may not have seen before. Health program classes are full-time, all day, Monday through Friday, no exceptions. If you are offered a seat in a health program, you will probably be in a clinical setting all day, every day of the week. If you feel a health program may not be for you, don't worry. We have many other programs that will let you help even in the healthcare area, such as healthcare management technology or medical office administration. Admissions counselors are here to help new, returning, and current students. While they do not register you for your first courses, 
they can help you choose an academic program and direct you to your academic advisor. Counselors are available for the following, assist you with the admissions process and or readmissions into the college, assist you with getting into or changing your program, make referrals as appropriate to promote your academic, social, personal, emotional, and physical well-being. Counselors are also here to help if you need someone to talk to about any issues you may be having. Changing your program of study. If you have not chosen a program of study or want to change your program, stop by the Tony Rand Student Center to speak to an admissions counselor. Students may change programs only two times in an academic year. Changes made while taking classes will not be effective until next semester. Changing programs too often may affect your financial aid and or your VA benefits. Changing your program of study will not restart your financial aid funds. There is a limit to how much financial aid you can receive, and changing your major will not stretch that limit. Your academic advisor is a faculty member in your degree area. They are the experts in the field you are studying. Academic advisors are available for the following. Assist you with tracking your progress towards graduation. Register you for the right classes to get you to graduation. Help you with work-based learning, which is real-life work experience develop a personal education plan, and resolve your academic-related problems. Work-based learning. Work-based learning is an excellent way to dip your toe into a career. With work-based learning, you can actually do the job you are training for. Work-based learning is an educational option that provides students with an opportunity to apply classroom learning in paid or non-paid work experience. How do I know if I'm eligible for work-based learning? You must complete a work-based learning application form and be approved and registered by the WBL coordinator. You must be officially enrolled in a program that offers the WBL option. You must have completed a minimum of 12 credit hours in your major curriculum courses. You must have a minimum of a 2.0 GPA. You can gain on-the-job experience, earn credit towards degree, explore jobs in the field to confirm career goals, and even earn money. Ask your academic advisor for more information on work-based learning. Your financial aid journey starts by completing the online free application for federal student aid, also known as FAFSA, at www.studentaid.gov. You will want to complete your free application as early as possible. Every year, by October 1st, the application is available for the next academic year. There are different types of aid to be offered. Grants are typically need-based and do not need to be repaid, unless you withdraw from school and owe a refund. Loans is money borrowed to pay for college that must be repaid with interest. Scholarships may be need-based, program-based, or merit-based, and generally do not have to be repaid. Work-study is part-time job opportunities on or off campus for students. All official correspondence from the financial aid office will be directed through your self-service and student email accounts. For more information, stop by the Financial Aid Office in Tony Rand Student Center, Room 2, or check out our website for more information including dates and deadlines. Success coaches can assist you throughout your educational journey. They can help you set goals, assist you with academic and study skills, help you get acclimated to college, and refer you to on- and off-campus resources. Stop by and visit a coach at the Tony Rand Student Center. They can be your tour guide to success. It is important that you communicate with your instructors, program advisor, and your success coach. Remember to read and understand the syllabus. Utilize instructor's office hours. Meet with your program advisor and success coach regularly. Don't be shy. Ask questions when you don't understand something. And remember, success coaches are always here to help you navigate college. We all started out as new students with plenty of questions, no different than many of you. Please do not be afraid to ask for help. First to survive at FTCC, you have to be able to log into your self-service, Blackboard, and student email accounts. To get help with logins, you can visit any of the computer labs on campus or you can go to the Tony Rand Student Center, Room 4. Staff in those areas will be able to assist you. Self-service is a lifeline at FTCC. 
think of it as your personal FTCC webpage. Please check your self-service frequently. It has all the information you need at your fingertips, such as financial aid information, e-forms, grades, program evaluation, transfer credits brought in, program advisor, your class schedule, self-registration, and much more. Blackboard is going to play a role even in face-to-face -face classes because instructors will use it to post grades, provide reading materials, and even quiz you over what you have learned. You can't get by without being able to log into these platforms. A few things to remember. Self-service and Blackboard share the same login credentials. And classes will not be available to view in Blackboard until the first day of class. You get a student email account 24 hours after you complete an admissions application and it stays available to you over the summer, over holiday breaks, and even a year after you graduate. We send you information through this email account about your classes, financial aid, and any other FTCC related news. Use this email when communicating with anyone at FTCC, such as admissions, financial aid, and instructors. You can access your student email at the bottom of our website. Please check your student email every day. You will receive reminders about registration and your student email account. You will want to meet with your advisor, register for classes, and secure payments to stay enrolled. This will keep you on track to graduate. Here are some tips about registration. If you register early, you will have a better choice of class times and days. You want to make sure you meet with your advisor as soon as you get the email that says registration is open. Attending classes is essential to your success. Let's review some attendance policies. You may not miss more than 10% of a pre-curriculum class or 20% of a curriculum class. Three tardies shall be counted as one absence. You must attend the first day of class or you will be counted as a no-show and you will be charged a percentage of the tuition cost for that class. There are no excused absences. If you are out, you are out regardless of the reason. Your instructor may work with you on what you miss, but you will still be counted as absent. It's like a job. If you do not show up, you do not get paid. If you are not in class, you have missed a class. If you miss too many classes, your instructor can withdraw you for excessive absences. You are an undergraduate college student now, and classes will have policies and expectations to follow. Here are some of the common policies and expectations. Please put your phone on silent. Ask questions appropriately. Be respectful of others and instructors even when you disagree. Make sure assignments are being submitted on time. Check with your instructors about late work or makeup policies. Work professionally with others. Participate in classroom discussions. Participation is highly encouraged. Once you have picked your classes, we hope that it is a good fit. But if you realize the course does not fit your pathway to success, you have a few options. Students can drop themselves from class using their web advisor and student planning up to a certain point in the class. If you drop a course before the first day of class, you will not be charged for the course. If you drop on the first day but before the census date, you and your financial aid will be charged 25% of the class. After the census date, it is considered a withdrawal. If you want out of the class, you will withdraw, but before you do, you need to know that you or your financial aid will be charged for the class. Sometimes this means that you will owe the college money. You can always ask financial aid about this. W's count as an F in financial aid world. Students who withdraw from classes too many times jeopardize their financial aid. Census dates is the 10% point of a class and are not always the same day. Each class has its own census date. If you do not attend class before the census date, you will be considered a no-show and you will be withdrawn from the class. Check the registrar's page for the refund, withdrawal, and incomplete dates to see exact census dates for your class. You are going to do amazing on your educational journey here at FTCC. Graduation will be here before you know it. Keep in mind the college requires that students maintain a cumulative major GPA of 2.0 or higher in order to meet institutional standards of progress and to be eligible for graduation. 
If you feel that you need extra support, we will list some campus resources coming up that can help you succeed. Your success is important to us, and we encourage you to take advantage of all the available resources at FTCC. We have on-campus resources for you to utilize, such as the Student Learning Center, University Outreach, Career Development Center, Paul H. Thompson Library, Student Activities, Disability Support Services, First Year Connections, Yes Initiative, Success Closet, and much, much more. FTCC has a success closet where you can pick up interview appropriate clothing. And we have a career center that can help you with job search tips, resume assistance, and mock interviews. For further information on resources, please check out our website or ask your success coach. FTCC is proud to serve our military veterans and their dependents as they pursue their educational goals. The FTCC All-American Veterans Center was created to honor our veterans. Veterans can gather, find assistance, and receive the support necessary to ensure their success at FTCC and beyond. The center is located on the second floor of the General Classroom Building, Room 202. The Student Learning Center offers one-on-one -on -one academic tutoring, computer access, and studying and writing assistance. Stop by for writing, math, or computer assistance at any time. For tutoring in a specific subject, please refer to the schedules posted in the Student Learning Center, which is located in the Virtual College Center in Room 232. Being a student here gives you full access to the computer labs. Open computer labs are on campus for students to use even on Saturdays. Any student who is currently enrolled for curriculum classes and has a student ID can use these labs. You can use these labs to work on assignments for classes, meet up with your groups and use the study areas, and even stop by to charge your laptop. Stop by the Advanced Technology Center, room 120, to check out the Open Computer Lab. For many students who wish to pursue an advanced degree, the transfer process may seem intimidating. The staff at University Outreach can help you navigate the steps to transferring by offering the resources you need, such as one-on-one -on -one counseling, transfer guides and literature, college transfer day, welcome week, articulation agreements, university points of contact, and much more. Stop by Horace Sisk, room 610, or contact Lutricia Nelson at nelsonl at faytechcc.edu. Providing safety for faculty, students, and staff is important here at FTCC. Public safety and security is located in the general classroom building across from the bookstore. This is where you can get your student ID and parking decal. They also provide motorist assistance, like helping you jumpstart your car or changing your tire. It is encouraged that you sign up for Fay Text Alert. FTCC provides public safety alerts and other campus notifications sent as text messages and emails to your mobile device. Sign up at FTCC's Public Safety and Security webpage. The Trojans are the athletic teams that represent FTCC. Currently, the teams are part of the Region 10 National Junior College Athletic Association. We have men and women's basketball, baseball and softball, and volleyball. Come check us out, especially during game time. Go Fable Tech Trojans! While you're here at FTCC, take advantage of the clubs, sports, and student organizations that we have. Make sure you enjoy your time here. Check out our website for how to get involved on campus. Last but not least, if you have any questions or concerns, please email successcoach at faytechcc.edu. Welcome to FTCC.